Hi, this is Joe Hackman with ManagedSolutions.com and most of us have probably received emails in the past and we're really not quite sure about the authenticity of them. They look completely legitimate but you know something doesn't seem quite right. This morning uh, I was going through my quarantine and I noticed an email from Facebook and first of all it's peculiar that it would have been in my quarantine because generally messages from Facebook arrive in my inbox. So I looked at this email a little closely and I thought wow what a great example to show people what a phishing email looks like. This particular email on the surface looks completely normal. Facebook update tool, you know, Facebook email, everything looks kind of fairly legit. It, it looks like it's all Facebook. They've got the address, uh, everything else. Now there's a couple problems with this email. Number one Apparently everybody is Alexis at ChrisPolosLaw.com. That's the email address that this message says it was intended to be sent to, which is kind of one red flag. But really the big red flag is the actual link that is in the update URL is not for the Facebook website. It's for a Facebook.com with additional information to it. So I'm going to just do a quick example here. So when I click this link, you can see that it's a reported web forgery and the actual address that this went to was not a Facebook address. Now in some email clients you can see that easily and in others you can't. So for, for this example I basically just copied and pasted it into a notepad file but as you can see it's it looks you know the first part of the URL is correct right facebook.com oh wait a minute what's all this other stuff okay basically all the information between the slash slash and the next slash is the actual address so as you can see this is the me.uk domain and of course it's it's already been reported for web forgery so it's pretty much already shut down so uh, in this case the authorities have done a good job and really protected people from from exposure here so again just um, if you see an email and you're it looks a little suspicious you might want to have a take an extra look at where the link actually goes to and if you really still have doubts you can even send it to me just go to www.managedsolutions.com Go to the contact page and I would actually be happy to take a look at that email for you. Hope you'd enjoyed the video and have a great day.